Feeling hypnotized by the words that I just said Don't lie to me, just lie in my head Boxes are scattered in the hallway on the next door. New neighbor? You said to yourself. The boxes were almost blocking your door, but you didn't pay attention and just continue walking towards the elevator. While pushing to your big bike, you're also wearing your helmet at the same time. You're about to ride when three men approach. You took off your helmet again and placed it on the set of your motorcycle. Why are you here again? Madam, Mr. Cha sent us here to forcefully take you back. Mr. Nam, how many times I have to tell you that I don't want to go back? Tell that old guy that since he married again without telling me, he has also ended our relationship. I don't want to break your 120 bones, Mr. Nam, so just back off. You took something in your bag and gave it to Mr. Nam. Here's my card that the old man gave me. Tell him I don't need this money. I can live alone. You added and wear the helmet again. You ride on your big bike and speed it off. You are Cha Yn, a daughter of a business tycoon. A clever and independent girl. You choose to hide your identity and stay low profile despite of being rich. Three months ago, you left your house and lived with your own after your dad married again. Actually, he didn't tell you that. You only found out by accident when his new wife thought you were your dad's mistress after seeing you with him. You live in a newly building apartment. You are the only one tenant who lives on the third floor where your room located. For you, you prefer ghosts as neighbors over noisy neighbors. For now, you are finishing your masters. To support your studies and needs, you work part-time as a manager at the cafe and taekwondo instructor. You are in the second floor of the cafe, sitting in the corner while working for the audit of sales for this month, until you heard a man's voice probably having an argument. Then you saw the cashier looks like apologizing to him. You hurriedly stood up to go to them, but before you arrive, the man has already left. Grace, what happened? That customer got angry with me. Well. He was the one who made a mistake for telling on his order. Meanwhile, the chairman calling you but you just ignoring his call. This car really testing my patience. Later on, his secretary and the two bodyguards came inside. Where's Wayan? I told you don't come back here if you don't bring her. Sir, you know your daughter. She can break our bones if we force her to come with us. What did she tell you? The exact way she told you. S sir, the way she exactly said for you? Are you deaf? S sir, she said, Tell that bald old man that I can live alone. The moment he married without telling me, he already cut our relationship. Tell him he's ugly old guy. She really told that? Actually, sir, I was the one who said about how bald and ugly you are. I will just carry it away. I sh damn it. Get out! Time skip. When you get home from teaching Taekwondo, you notice the box is black in the hallway. This morning is still there. And now you hear voices coming from the next room indicating that there is someone inside the room. Since you are not interested, you choose to ignore them and just enter your unit to prepare your dinner. After dinner, you watch television without realizing that you had fallen asleep. After a few hours, you suddenly walk up to the screaming and laughing you heard in the hallway. What's that? 
You stand up and check on your CCTV if what happens outside. There you saw a group of men who went out to the new neighbor's rooms. They were running in the hallway in the middle of the night and probably they were drinking since you saw one of them holding a can of beer. Again, you ignore them and just go to your room to continue to sleep. But you can hear them even more in your room. So you go back to the living room again and try to sleep. One, two, three. In the early morning, you were still awake because your neighbor is still partying outside. Okay, I'm done. You get up and get out of your room. Excuse me. All of the boys look at you wearing a surprise face when you suddenly came out of the door. Yes? The guy with Tartos replied. Which one of you is the new mover? Me. Then, do you know what time is it? He looks at his watch and says, 3.30 in the morning. 3.30 in the morning. Are you aware that you are disturbing other people with what you are doing? Well, I don't know that I have neighbors here. As far as I know, I live alone in this floor. Well, I've been living here since three months. And now that you already know that you have a neighbor, can you please keep quiet? He smirks instead and say, What if I don't want to? Seriously? Fine, then I will call the owner of this building. Jungkook just laughed, even his friends, at what you said. You don't know Jungkook is the son of the owner of that building. Then call him? I don't care. This time, your patience is running out. Instead of apologizing on you for making loud noises in the middle of the night, the guy and Tatos were still acting arrogant on you. You took your phone and dialed someone's number. You told to the person on the other line what everything happened. After that, you also apologized to that person on the other line for disturbing him in this hour. Who did you call? Ghost? He asked while laughing. Probably. Then Jungkook's phone rang. He immediately answered the call after answering who the caller was. Jungkook's face shows surprise and humiliated. After the conversation, he hung up the call. Who are you? How did you know the owner of this building? Are we close? So I will tell you the story of my life? You smirk and bang the door. <laughs> Fuck. Because of that girl, my dad got mad at me. I think I found my next target now. Jacob said and told his friends to go home because the party was over. Jungkook, the billionaire son who grew up in the States, is part brat and used to getting everything he wants. His dad asked him to go back and challenge him to live alone and become independent in one year. After that, he will give Jungkook long to become a CEO of one of his dad's businesses. He is also taking his master's but he will continue it in his country after coming back. You woke up late because of your arrogant neighbor, and because of that, you need to hurry up before going to be late for your work. You just took a shower and left without having a breakfast, but when you went out of the door, you slipped and fell. Ouch! You groan in pain because your back hit the floor. Then you saw a banana peel as you realize someone purposely put in front of your door. In your thought, only one person would do that to you, your arrogant neighbor since you two were only living on the third floor. You stood up and knocked on his door. Later on, the door opened revealing himself shirtless. Yeah, why are you disturbing me in my sleep? He said while rubbing his eyes. You put this banana peel in front of my door, right? Are you accusing me? Can't you see I just woke up? We're the only two living here. Obviously, you are the only one who did this to me. 
You have a proof? If you don't, then shut up. He said and closed the door. Until you remember him, he was the guy who also got angry with Gray last day. Even though he was the one at fault. You really want to crush him. However, you have no proof that he is the one who did it. While walking in the parking lot, your eyes landed in a familiar car. You clearly saw him driving that car after arguing with Grace. You look around. Bingo! No CCTV camera here. You want to play? Then let's play! At 12, Jungkook went out from his unit to have lunch. But when he saw his sports car, he got very angry because it was completely vandalized. Beware of this guy. He is a cheater. Fact. Mm. Who the hell did this? He grind his teeth in anger, but he doesn't know who did it. He immediately think of you, and since he is the sons of the owner of the building, he has access to see the CCTV record. But unfortunately, since the building is new, there is no CCTV installed yet in the parking area. So there is no evidence that can point at you. I know, it was you. The moment you get out of the elevator, you immediately saw Jungkook outside the door of his room. The moment he saw you, he gave you a death glare. Miss, I know you are the one who vandalized my sports car. You followed your bros and replied to him. What the nonsense are you bubbling? You are the only person I can suspect of doing that to me. Do you have a proof? If you don't, then shut up. You said and banged your door after getting inside of your room. Wait, is that my line? I think I said that earlier. Monday, Jigok was hanging out outside the campus together with his friends talking about his life in the US and other things when a Ducati big bike came and parked in front of them. Oh, nice big bike, his friend said. Jigok's eyes widened and stand when the rider removed her helmet and recognized you. What took you so long? The girl approached you. I went somewhere before coming here. You replied to her and walked going inside the campus. Bro, do you know that girl? The one who's driving a big bike? She's YN. She's in our class too. What a small world. YN, don't forget our blind date later. Faye, I told you, I don't want to. Please. My blind get bring someone with him. Okay, okay. But this is the first and last time I will do this. You and Faye were talking about your blind date later. Then someone sat next to you and purposely bump on you. Y you? You said after recognizing him. What a small world, Miss YN. How did you know my name? He didn't reply. Instead, he just shrugged his shoulder. To be fair, I'm Jungkook. You stood up and held Faye's hand. I don't care if you are Jungkook. I'm not interested in knowing you. Let's go, Faye. Let's find another chair. He walks out and switch chair. Blind date? Then let's ruin your blind date. He murmured. After class, you went straight to the cafe where Faye's blind date was waiting. His blind date brought his friend and introduced to you. You four are in the middle of chatting when someone spoke behind you. Babe, why are you here? You look back and saw Jungkook is marking. Babe? You know him? Faye's date asked. Actually, he is my nay. Your words cut. But Jungkook held your hand and said, 
I'm her boyfriend. You snatched your hand and gazed at him. He came closer and whispered to you. You know what? I really want to play with you. Your mind blown away after hearing him. I'm sorry guys. He was right. He is my boyfriend before. But not now. I broke up with him because I realized his is so tiny. You said and looked down. Faye and her date laugh. What? Tiny? Did you see mine? You smile and tap your shoulder. Oops! I mean, your heart is so tiny. You laugh like a crazy and come closer to him. Then, let's play. You whisper. <laughs>